Peep, peep. Here comes Thomas the Tank Engine. Thomas and his friends work hard every day. Thomas does not want to work today. It is his birthday. He wants a party with presents, balloons, and silly hats. But Sir Topham Hatt says, Henry is busy. Gordon is busy. James is busy. You must work today, Thomas. So Thomas goes to his branch line. Back and forth, back and forth. carries people He carries animals, he carries wood, he carries rain. Thomas sees his friends near the engine shed. No one says happy birthday. No one says a word about presents, balloons, or silly hats. At the end of the day, Thomas heads home. Those engines did not look so busy to me.
Oh no, a cow is on the line. Move! Says Thomas. Move! Says the cow. No, no, no! Says Thomas. Not moo, move! At last, the cow moves. Thomas is late. Thomas is tired. Some birthday. Sir Top Hat opens the doors to the dark shed. Thomas chugs inside. Lights come on. Surprise! Say all Thomas's friends. We were busy, says Henry. We were busy making a party for you, says James. It is a wonderful party. There are presents, balloons, and silly hats to wear. Happy birthday, Thomas! Toodle and Katie's Adventure One day, Toodle and Katie were waiting for Thomas to come. Toodle, where's Thomas? Asked Katie Caboose. He should be here by now. I know, he's awfully late, said Toodle. Then, Sir Topham had arrived. Sir, have you seen Thomas? He's behind schedule. I know, Toodle, and he didn't come back last night. This is very strange, answered Katie. What do you think we should do, Toodle? We should go find Thomas. Sir Topham had and the engines are worried about him. That's a good idea, and good luck finding Thomas, said Sir Tommy Hat as Toodle and Katie went to find Thomas. Along the way, they saw Percy at Mayfleet Station, delivering the mail. Hello, Percy. Hello, Toodle. Hi, Katie. What brings you here? Thomas is missing. Did you see him yesterday, Percy? Asked Katie. The last time I saw Thomas, he went to the quarry to pick up his trucks. Then he might be there, said Toodle. Let's go, Katie. Thanks, Percy. Called Katie as Toodle took her to the quarry. But when they arrived, Toby was there, shutting stone trucks. Toby, Thomas is missing. Have you seen him? He was here. But he went to deliver the trucks to Brendam Docks. Maybe Thomas might be at the docks? Said Katie. Only one way to find out, replied Toodle as they went to Brendam Docks. Along the way to Brendam Docks, Katie could see something in the distance. Hey Toodle, is that Thomas? It is Thomas, cried Toodle, and he was right. There was Thomas, who had broken down. Thomas, there you are! Toto and I have been looking all over for you! Thomas, what happened to you? Thank goodness you're here! I've broken down, said Thomas. Now I'm stuck. Are you alright? I'm okay. Toodle, can you go and get help? Asked Thomas. Of course I will, 
Smile, Toodle. And that's what Toodle did. A few weeks later, Thomas was prepared and he was ready to go back to work. It's good to have you back, Thomas. It's good to be back, Katie. Smiled Thomas. And thank you for helping me, guys. Then, Sir Topham had arrived on board James. Well done, Toodle and Katie, boomed Sir Topham Hat. You rescued Thomas when he was in trouble. I'm very proud of you both, especially you, Toodle. That was a great rescue. It sure was, sir, replied Thomas. Are you ready to be useful, Thomas? asked Katie. Sir Topham Hat needs his number one engine to be really useful, added Toodle. Yes, Toodle, I am. Thomas smiled and he went back to work like a really useful engine should. <laughs> Thomas the tank engine was ill. Workmen tried to make him better, but it was no use. Edward will have to take you to the works. Thomas felt very miserable. Then, Sir Topham Hatt spoke to Nia. Nia, I want you to help Percy and Toby while Thomas is away. Of course I will, sir. I will do my best for my friend Thomas. That's a good engine. Now off you go, Nia. Take care of Thomas's coaches, Nia. He's sure to miss them while he's away. Don't worry, Emily. I will. Thomas came back, Annie and Clarabelle told him how well Nia had managed. Thomas was so pleased to be home that he soon forgot to be jealous. Thanks for your help, Nia. You're welcome, Thomas. The works have left Thomas's handbrake very stiff. It made his brakes seem as if they were on, when in fact they were not. As a result, he and his coaches often overran the platform. Thomas found this most embarrassing. Gradually, his driver and fireman learned to be extra careful. But one day, Thomas's fireman was ill and a relief man took his place. The fireman had fastened the coupling and joined the driver and station master on the platform to wait for Henry's passengers. The fireman had forgot all about Thomas's handbrake. Thomas simmered happily. Not long now, he thought, as he saw Henry slowly approaching. 
but Thomas's brakes were not on, and suddenly he felt his wheels began to move. He tried to stop, but he couldn't do it without his driver or fireman. He tried to whistle a warning, but he couldn't do that either. The conductor, driver, fireman, and passengers were stand stranded on the platform. Nia, Thomas is a runaway. You have to stop him. Don't worry, I'm on my way. Somebody help me, please. I can't stop. I'm glad you're here, Nia, but please stop me! I'm trying, Thomas! Nia used every ounce of steam she ever had. At last, she caught up with Thomas and slammed on her brakes as hard as she could. Phew. Thank you, Nia. You saved me. The next day, Thomas came to see Nia with Sir Topham Hat. Thomas, your brakes are fixed. Yes, they are, Nia. I said Topper Hat wants to talk to you. Indeed I do. Nia, I heard you rescued Thomas when he was a runaway. Well done, Nia. You saved Thomas from a close call. You are a really useful engine. Thank you, sir. I'm just glad to be helpful. Good job, Nia. As a reward for your heroic action, Nia, you can have a new coat of paint. Nia just beamed. Every afternoon, Thomas the Tank Engine pumps along his branch line with Annie and Clarabelle. First, they pass the water mill. Next, they come to a big farm. Then, they come to a small station outside of a village. This is a special place to Thomas. Whenever children hear Thomas coming along, they get out of front of the bus waving until he is out of sight. One day, Thomas was running late. He had stopped at a red light before to talk to some new children. Percy the Green Engine was waiting too. Hurry up, Thomas, called Percy when the signal dropped. If you're late, Sir Tom Pat might get a new engine to replace you. He will never do that, thought Thomas, but he was worried. Next day, Thomas hurried along the line. Just ahead was the goods yard. There, on the platform, was an inspector waving a red flag. Next, Thomas saw some children. They looked worried. Something must be wrong. 
thought Thomas. Help, Thomas, help! We're glad to see you, called the children. Please, would you take us home? The station master explained to Thomas' driver that the birdie had broken down and all the parents would be worried if the children were late. Thomas waited as the children climbed into Annie and Clarabelle. When Thomas finished his journey, it was very late. He was worried that Sir Top Hat might be cross with him. I warned Thomas, popped Percy to James. He's been late one time too many. He'll be in trouble now. But next morning, when Thomas picked up his pastures, Sir Topham Hatt was nowhere to be seen. <sighs> Thank goodness, sighed Thomas. <laughs> Thomas knows every part of his line. Just ahead was a strange where the hot sun had bent the rails on the track. Careful, Thomas, called his driver, but it was too late. That's done it, said his driver. We shouldn't get any further today. But what about my passengers? Asked Thomas. Don't worry, they'll be looked after, replied his driver. While working to repair the line, Thomas had shot freight cars in the yard. Bertie came to see him. I understand that you need my help again. Yes, Bertie, replied Thomas sadly. I can't run without my rails. Bertie set off to collect Thomas's passengers. Hello, Bertie, they said. We're glad you're here. Bertie drove along the road that runs by the railway. He stopped at each station along the line. Sometimes he stopped between stations to let people off closer to their homes. Thomas felt miserable. I've lost my pastures to Bertie. They'll like him better than me. Sir Topham had arrived. Your branch line is repaired. I'm going to change your timetable so that you and Bertie can work together more. When Thomas reached the station, there, to his relief, were all his passengers. Bernie is a great bus, but we missed our train ride with you, they said. Where Thomas spoke to Bernie. Thank you for looking after my passengers. That's alright, Thomas. I like to make new friends, but I'm glad to share them with you. Bernie, you're a very good friend indeed. Hip 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 hooray! Chugga chugga chug chug chop chop chop. He rides along the way, and when you hear that whistle, it can only be one train. Your favorite little engine, Thomas is his name. And strong. He chugga chugga chup chup working hard, helping everyone. Thomas, he has lots of friends. And you can be one too. 